Yo, what is going on, Comfy Gang? Um, I'm just gonna cover my face and act really depressed. I don't know. Work the angles, pretend like I'm crying. Uh, you know, just for the video thumbnail. Hopefully that shows up so that this video thumbnail will make more sense because today I'm gonna be talking about the aftermath of bullying and essentially what effects bullying has had on me, I guess psychologically and in a lot of other ways. Um, I guess it makes sense because in my previous two videos, which is basically like one long video, I just talked about what exactly was done to me, but I didn't um, talk about how that, I guess, affected me throughout my life. And it really affected me in two major ways. And just a quick side note, um, I know these past few videos have been extremely negative and I don't want my channel to be too negative or, you know, I want, I want it to be kind of like a mix of me trying to like improve myself or just talk about like random neat stuff in like a more neutral tone. But I think it just makes logical sense for me to talk about this also for like the aesthetics of my channel because it makes sense to have a video talking about the aftermath of bullying right after the videos talking about what happened to me uh, while I was bullied, but <laughs> it's kind of stupid, but uh, yeah, so um, also my parents are still awake right now, so I might have to talk a little bit quieter, but um, let me just... How else can I make myself look depressed? Um... Okay, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Why would I choke myself? Um, kind of like roping I guess no but um okay it's probably gonna get like clipped or something so I'm gonna stop um yeah so um I'd say um bullying has really affected me in two major ways as well as numerous other ways that are much less significant but I'm gonna try and focus on the two big ones for now and the first one is that it really has affected my ability to well I, I guess first first of all it's probably a massive contributor to my social anxiety there are like a couple of other experiences that I feel might have led to this but it definitely has pushed me towards being more socially anxious and that's because of the first reason bullying has affected me which is that it has basically um, greatly diminished my ability to trust people in general. And that's because um, it probably is related to something along the lines of classical conditioning, or I guess operant conditioning, which is like these psychological, um, kind of like Pavlov's dog, if you've heard of that. If not, maybe just search it up. But um, um, yeah, it's kind of like basically my one tra traumatic experience with this person has basically made me, I guess, associate, um, I guess, a lot of negative emotions. And uh, it's like my body almost prepares for conflict or for like bullying or abuse with every other person that I encounter because, well, I guess the brain or at least like your subconscious is what some people call it. it's more like your lizard brain or your monkey brain your brainstem even i have no idea what exactly goes on in there but um yeah all that stuff is basically wired now because of this bullying for me to constantly i guess subconsciously see people as a threat so um first of all it um yeah so basically um, I guess if a lot of people have noticed, um, a large part of um, a lot of large part of deepening connections is slowly building trust between the two people, be it in friendships or relationships. And um, you know, part of that, a huge part of that, is often uh, what I guess scientists or biologists would call like play fighting or like, um, I guess, playing. And you know, animals, the way animals do this is that they pretend to be in conflict. Like for example, if you watch like puppies play with each other or like animals, like dogs, cats, 
a lot of a lot of it is like pretending to like hunt each other or fight each other they open their mouths and they apply a little pressure um with almost like making like biting motions pretending to like bite at each other's necks and pretend to kill each other and there's a lot of evolutionary reasons for this um one of the i guess it would be called like rough housing or whatever playing and it's theorized that the purpose of this behavior is to basically prepare animals to you know hunt and actually do these things but within like a, a safe context it's like it's giving them just that amount right amount of stress where it's like positive and it can almost be like exciting and pushing you outside of your comfort zone but not in a way that both parties feel threatened but it's kind of like a mutual give and take thing or like they take turns even if it's like a bigger animal the bigger animal will often pretend to like be taken down by like the smaller like pomeranian like a golden retriever playing with a pomeranian will pretend to be you know tackled and like being killed by the pomeranian but it's really just all like a an act of play and humans basically do this i guess when you're kids it can be more physical especially if it's between like guys but eventually as you get older and society tells you that oh you know hitting each other is bad because i guess to an extent it is because you know people are actually pretty fragile and i guess it wouldn't be such a great idea to punch each other for fun even in like a boxing ring for example that can be pretty bad over time so instead we do it with words right and that's i guess the role of teasing but when you're i guess so teasing is kind of like a a constant like give and take sort of walking the line between being dangerous to each other mentally and just like being safe so it's kind of like in that that like gray zone where it's like exciting for both parties but still will still oh fuck while be, still being safe but when bullying happens it's like I think a lot of people who have been bullied can relate to this, but it's almost like you're unable, your body is unable to recognize or like be in that gray zone. The moment you sense any sort of danger, even if it's just in like jest or like in a playful, like teasing way, you, you, you automatically like your body immediately goes into like fight or flight mode and your, your heart races. You feel like a tightening in your chest, maybe. And um, you automatically um, subconsciously evaluate the person. Like you're like hyperactive for threats basically. And you immediately evaluate the other person as a threat, both subconsciously and consciously where your mind starts to come up with all these um, things. And um, like coming up with like really bad comebacks like that are way too inappropriately like far or you just automatically like shut down because you're too like anxious or scared or you think that this person hates you or that they're trying to do something to you your mind comes up with all these negative things assuming that the person is trying to bully you i guess in a way or like mistreat you because well um because that's what you did experience at one point these thoughts were valid at one point but it's bad when they're generalized to everybody and because play and teasing is a normal part of developing trust between people um it can be really detrimental to forming a lot of close relationships with other people and it's like sometimes like in real life for example people might tease me and consciously i know that it's just teasing but it's like my body doesn't know that so it'll automatically send me into fight or flight and i might just give like that split second of of looking like i'm hurt or like i'm like pissed off or something and in some sense i am but not really but it's like that split second where your body lets out that <coughs> inappropriate response because you've been bullied and the other person all of a sudden thinks you're weak or that you're thin skinned, that you're too sensitive, that you're a narcissist. And it's kind of similar, but not really. And well, as a consequence, yeah. And on the on the internal side, it's also like it's kind of hard 
knowing that you can't always trust your instincts because you would like to be able to believe that you can trust your gut your gut feeling about people but when you've been bullied that has essentially been messed up by the bullying where you become overly distrustful of other people and it makes it really hard to engage in like playful teasing because it's either like you shut down because you can't cope with it or you have the tendency to think um you know in a come like come up with like inappropriate like things and end up saying something that you might regret because your brain is just on like overdrive thinking that you're like under threat by the same bully who bullied you back in the day and that's definitely one thing that i feel um that's definitely one way how bullying has affected me is that it's basically caused me to mistrust mistrust others and the other major way is that um basically um i feel like bullying it's like they say bullies were bullied themselves and although this is not true all the time some people are just born bullies and some people do it because it's kind of like a pattern where they notice it gives them like increased social status but because you know the whole bullies are unhappy they hate themselves it's true sometimes but it's a myth a lot of the time a lot of them do it just to boost their social status and they don't really care about what happens to the other person it's not necessarily that they've been bullied themselves although maybe they were and they learned it and then they use that as their own tool now to like make pull themselves up but i think um a lot of bullying actually can create a lot of darkness in people i know i wasn't bullied that badly but i can i can certainly um this might sound really bad but i can certainly understand why some people do really messed up things because already i wasn't really bullied that badly compared to a lot of people but it already um made me um i don't know before being bullied i feel like i was kind of just like innocent and just maybe overly nice a little bit of a people pleaser but after like the bullying that i experienced for that long and i guess of like that severity um for that prolonged period of time i feel like it definitely created a darkness in me um i don't know if it like brought something up that was already there but that was just being kept hidden or if that like the like the bullying the the negative emotions the negative energy it almost has a life of its own i feel where people who are hurt and traumatized Will often try to consciously or unconsciously spread that to other people because their mind just works in a way that it's like people who are hurt tend to want to hurt others and obviously there are people who have never been hurt that do this but there are also a lot of times it's people who have been hurt that end up wanting to hurt other people and I feel that within me, um, I think, and it's kind of related to the first thing where I'm not trusting my own ability to evaluate threats in other people because, um, well, I feel like if I don't kind of keep myself in check, that combined with the, my hypersensitivity combined with the sort of um, darkness that was created within me I definitely have the potential to go off the rails and say some like really heinous stuff to people like a lot of people i guess don't realize that about people who have been bullied but it definitely being bullied is definitely a master class in bullying like it does that it definitely teaches you how to break people down and um, hurt them for me it wasn't physical it wasn't so much physical as it was emotional and verbal, but I think, I don't know if this is a good thing, but I think I definitely learned what my weaknesses were, but at the same time, I could, I sort of learned the patterns, the things that I'd have to do to break another person down and really hurt them. And um, I think maybe that's why I'm such a people pleaser is maybe partially also because it's like 
a coping mechanism to counteract the fact that if I wasn't like that, I might just be a complete psychopath and, um, you know, say things to people and piss people off and hurt people unnecessarily and basically spread the negativity, whatever. Like, I know people don't believe this. I, I'm strictly speaking like a metaphysical or like a metaphorical sense. There's no actual like negative energy field, although there might be, and maybe we haven't found ways to detect it with science yet. But I think I'm speaking in terms of like metaphor in terms of like a metaphor, I guess, it almost like takes on a life of its own and people who are hurt become like an avatar for that negativity. And um, it's like, I think I'm a pretty decent person, but there is definitely that tendency towards darkness within me. I genuinely, generally, at the end of the day, I think want the best for most people. But um, it's like there's a lot of resentment and anger that's been created because of that within me. And I think it's partially at the world, but also because it's kind of like me feeling all this anger and resentment deep inside, but eventually subconsciously forgetting that it's strictly for my bully. And it, and it ends up being directed towards the world or just people as a whole. And that might be also the root of my distrust. Like obviously from the way I'm talking, things I'm describing, you can probably tell that it's done a number on me mentally, like the bullying. Like um, I'm not, I'm not like proud of this, but there was one time where someone was being um, like in real life as being um, kind of rude to me uh, and unnecessarily rude. So obviously I think I had the right to retaliate, but basically I, I basically treated this person the way um, my bully treated me. And it's like, I don't know. I think at the time I was just so fed up with life that I just, maybe almost dissociated from it. I felt numb. And part of me was just like, I want to see what will happen if someone else were to experience the things I experienced. So I basically did what my bully did to me. I, in terms of like verbal abuse, like I, you know, I just re repeatedly call this person the same name over and over again, even when they were silent I kept saying the same thing and I just kept going at them and at them and just being relentless. And this, I think happened for like an hour. Um, I think I was, that was really terrible what I did. And I think I did it. I think they experienced an hour of what I experienced for like hundreds of hours, I'd say. And, um, this person um, at the end of it just broke down and started crying. And um, I feel uh, fucking hell. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> God, that's embarrassing. Um, I feel uh, fucking feel really guilty about it. And, um, but at the same time, it's like, I kind of felt in a fucked up way. I kind of felt validated. Like, obviously I begged this person for forgiveness and I think we're on good terms, but it's just like, man, like the fact that I haven't killed myself is honestly, I don't know. I think this, I think if people, I don't know, this is me just, you know, taking part of the, impre the taking part in the oppression Olympics now, because it's just another coping mechanism, um, you know, to alleviate all the hurt. Like, Oh, like what was me? I, I survived this bully. I'm somehow stronger. I'm more evolved than the other people. Like some BS like that, like, Obviously, bullying is terrible, and 
I guess maybe that's all I can do is cope and pretend like, but I think it is kind of true in a sense where it kind of made me realize how bad what I went through actually was. And it makes me have angry at myself for not doing something about it. Um, not doing something about it uh, sooner. And um, yeah. Um, and yeah, but back to the whole like, yeah, um, it's like, it's fucked up because now it's like almost like I could, it's like, I got more, I spent more time being bullied than doing a lot of things in my life. It's almost as if like, I had like, you know, I was trained in bullying by like, probably one of the better bullies out there. By better, I mean more efficient bullies. So it's like, I have that within me. I have that potential to hurt people. And I think a lot of people who are bullied or mistreated severely, and I can only imagine, like, I can empathize and to an extent, I guess, not fully. It must be even way worse than people who have been, like, abused as kids or, um, I don't know, sexual abuse, physical abuse as kids. Thankfully, I never experienced that. But, um, yeah, so that just goes to show you how, like, effed up bullying is because or abuse in general i think abuse is the basically the same thing as bullying or bullying is a type of abuse but um yeah it definitely has that effect so it's like i constantly have to like keep a rein on myself and that also makes it hard to engage in like playful teasing because I'm hypersensitive and I'm capable of going way too far. And aside from these things, um, I guess it's also really lowered my self-esteem because as some people have said, you know, words, they do chip out, chip away at you. And, um, they, and they basically, um, you know, when something is repeated over and over again to you, even if it's a lie, you almost start to believe it subconsciously. It's like, we tend to believe the things that are repeated to us over and over again, even if they're false. I think there were some psychological studies proving this, though I can't remember which ones exactly. Um, but, um, yeah, so there's that. and. That also definitely didn't help with me trusting people. It made me feel like low status and that people were better than me somehow because I was constantly told that I was like an inferior human being, this and that, and um, just all that, you know. It really made me uh, sensitive to certain words uh, that I was name called repeatedly to, you know? So it's like, yeah, and it's like, you would think that I'm a normal person and I feel like I'm a pretty nice person for the most part. I think I genuinely am, but I think that um, if you were to, it's like, I also just have had like revenge fantasies about the person who bullied me and the things like, it's kind of like along the lines of, you know, like the Purge movie, like if the Purge were real, then I would do this and this to my bully. Or, you know, one day I'm going to go find my bully and do this and that. I'm not going to go into detail because you'll probably think I'm some monster for the things that I would honestly do to my bully. And it sounds messed up, but, you know, I feel like I've just, I, I have no empathy. No, even though I know that it was kind of suggested to me that my bully might have been bullied by his older brother, treated the same way, and that's where he learned it from. But I have no remorse for him 
because at the end of the day, I am his victim. And the things I would um, do to him would make most people's skin crawl. But not only would I be numb to it, I would probably feel some sort of sadistic pleasure in, inflict in inflicting uh, pain on him as he did to me. Um, not that I would ever do this because quite frankly, I don't want to go to jail. And I think if I were to do something like that, he would probably get the last laugh because I would just end up in prison and he would just find that even more funny. So, um, yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a lot of, uh, you know, negative emotions. I think I've mostly moved on from it, but I think it's, just, well, maybe not. I think I managed to bury a lot of it beneath the surface, but just um, talking about it definitely brings up some of this some of those emotions thankfully i don't think about it too often anymore but i've like i basically um after talking about it um yesterday i basically blocked this person on like facebook um because well yeah this person i don't know is a piece of crap basically and i don't really don't want to deal with them um and yeah, but that just speaks to like all the darkness, all the anger, all the resentment, and as well as how it has made me, you know, unable to trust people, which has in turn damaged my ability to form relationships with others and has, you know, made me tend towards being isolated more than a normal person would. It's like I'm a normal person, but... I would probably become a psychopath if I had the opportunity just to get back at my bully. Um, yeah, this is getting kind of dark. Um, I think these are pretty much most of the major ways bullying has affected me. They're probably some of the other usual suspects, you know, that you read about in articles about bullying. Just assume that all that stuff is true as well, because it probably is how it's made me less confident, you know, um, et cetera, et cetera, how you, how, however you pronounce that. But I think that's um, pretty much it. It just sucks not being able to trust your own intuition about people because of bullying. And it also sucks that, you know, it's given birth to a monster inside me. Hopefully, I'll be able to find true peace one day. I'm hoping I'm trending in that direction. But, um, yeah, anyway, sorry. Um, this video was definitely on the dark side. Um, I think to make up for it, I'll be doing a Need Ascension video next, trying to uh, ignore all these negative thoughts and focus my life towards something more positive as well as, you know, do more things. I won't be talking about something that's dark for a while because um, not just for the channel, but also just for my sake, because thinking about this stuff too long can obviously uh, be very toxic. And um, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's all I have to say for now. Um, this is company uh, signing out and uh, yep, yeah, I'll be more positive for a while. So yep, yeah. peace.